Hey everybody, it's your online singing coach back again today with a new reaction. Okay, Angelina's Angels, today is for you. We are checking out, finally, the visualizer for Love Don't Let Me Go. I have not heard this song yet, and it's high time that that happens, especially that there's an EP on the horizon and might already be released by the time this video is released. You all have let me know that the EP is titled old enough. And if you missed the discussion on that, be sure to check out my most recent reaction to Angelina, which was Love on the Brain. I talk about that at the end, so I'm I'm thrilled that we are on the same wavelength there, Angelina. Okay, so Love Don't Let Me Go, I love original music. I know that she is one of the writers on this song. I love that she is involved in the writing of this song. And I also have been told in the comments already that Grandma Mary makes uh, an appearance in this video. I know Angelina loves to bring family members and loved ones into her videos, and I think that's a beautiful thing. And I'm just gonna stop talking now, and we're gonna get to the song. <laughs> oh, she's tall. <laughs> There's Grandma. Goodness, Angelina, you're tall. <laughs> Get those heels, too. Yes, you look beautiful. <laughs> All right, drive that porch. every part of her voice. I think this song so far is is nailing exactly what I was hoping and wishing for and I mentioned this in the Love on the Brain reaction too just about how that song is successful because there's retro influence very heavily in that song but there's also a lot that makes it contemporary sounding. This song is sounding just like that for me so far. The phrasing is short da 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 which is a contemporary aspect. But right away, we, we could definitely feel some retro influences and the visualizer is enhancing that with the kind of like old, what is it called? I forget what they're called. Those little video recorders, you know, like you can hear the film sound. It's black and white. She's got a vintage car. So that's all melding with the music beautifully. I can't wait to hear the chorus. I'm trying to pull you close, closer to me. But it's just like trying to catch smoke Love, I really wish you had a face I love Maybe I could beg for you to stay I'm on the floor, I'm begging you know, oh, oh. Love, don't let me go I love If it. only I could look you in the eye There wouldn't be no place to that second verse. That chorus was a smash for me. I loved it. Super catchy. The chorus had a great lift. She, she did some nice belting in the chorus. The melody is catchy. I want to hear this chorus again. Well, I know we're going to. Okay, okay. We're going to hear it. There's always a second chorus. So I'll let her sing the second verse and then we might have to just revisit the second chorus again. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited? Yeah. <laughs> Had a heart, I could make it be for me. Okay, yeah, I'll let her do that overlap phrase again because she didn't get to sing the whole thing just now because of where I paused. However, before we do that, listen to the way she's saying had a heart. Had, 
there's a lot of fry on it and also a tiny bit of a slide. It's just a very, very nicely expressed had a heart. I love the way she's saying it. Just listen to that. Don't let me go. If you had a heart, I could make it be for me. If you had a soul, I know where my home would be. Love that. It's not about feeling lonely. Again, two contemporary elements in this second verse. The fast phrasing. Da 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 Whatever exactly the melody is there. This is a very contemporary form of writing to, to add some of this fast lyric. So I love that that happened. Also then, some of the instrumentation drops out and this is to rebuild the intensity. It's all about contrasts. I say that a lot. And here, instead of just keeping the steady beat all the way through the song, we have some dropping out of some instrumentation so that when it comes back in again, we have new energy. Let's check out that spot again from the fast lyrics. Here it comes. It's not about feeling lonely, but man, I just can't forget. And though you're not here beside me, I still see your silhouette. I'm trying to pull you close, closer to me. Angelina's voice. I mean, there's so much I love about Angelina's voice, but she's definitely like you, you. You can hear it instantly when you when Angelina starts singing. You know it's Angelina. She has this like kind of. She has a very fry prominent voice, and she also has that fabulous wide wobbly jazz influenced vibrato, and it's just so cool sounding. She just nailed the placement on the highest notes of this chorus. I really love the strength she has up there on that D flat, full and powerful and a robust tone there. And then I'm on the floor. And listen to her slow vibrato on the word floor. So cool. I'm on the floor. I'm baking oh, oh, oh. Love, don't let me go. You'll also know that she does a glottal attack on each of the O's in that descending melodic phrase there. Begin, oh, oh, oh. This is an artistic choice here, how you want to do those O's. There could have been a case for, oh, oh, oh. And there could have been a case for, oh. But I really like how she chose to do, to separate them with this glottal, oh, oh, oh. I think that that falls right into her regular vocal style. It just sounds great in her voice, just the way she did it. Now what happens here at the end? Do we just have an instrumental or do we continue? last note again. I mean, she's obviously legally allowed to drive. It's just like, you know, when, when when we've been watching videos of Angelina since she was just a little kid, some of you have seen way more videos than I have. <laughs> they just grow up so fast. Now she's driving. <laughs> yeah, let's check out that last note. That was so cool. It's like a little wobble go. It's 
like almost stopped and then she added a little bit more tone. She's like, no, I'm not quite done with that note. This song is so catchy. I love it. I think that was, that was just gonna be the big question was, what does this original song sound like? Is the writing gonna be good? I mean, I loved A Million Miles. It's a beautiful song. It showed that Angelina can write. This song really emphasizes that for me. It's, it's really well crafted. Really, really well crafted song. Excellent writing, excellent production. Of course, excellently sung. That goes without saying with Angelina. I feel very excited after hearing this song. What is the rest of the EP gonna sound like? This sounds like a single to me. Are they playing this on the radio yet? We gotta make that happen. Can't wait to hear the rest of the EP. So be sure to let me know when you see some new activity. I often hear it from you before I see it myself. Hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. If you really enjoyed watching this with me, I'm always super thankful when I see the super thanks come in. You can also support me on Patreon. And if you're a singer performing live with a mic, be sure to check out my Mic Technique Masterclass. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time.